Hi guys, how's it going? And finally, welcome back to another video. It feels like ages since I've uploaded, but we're finally back. I haven't uploaded in a while, mainly because one, I've been busy. Two, unfortunately, I didn't end up being able to go to Charlton last Saturday. So I apologise for the lack of uploads, but we are back now with a lot of vlogs, match previews and stuff coming up over the next couple of months and a lot of content for you guys to enjoy. But yeah, today's video is a match preview. It is a match preview for Charlton Town versus Oxford on Saturday, the 18th of September. And it's, it's a very interesting game. But we'll have to wait and see how the game plays out. But I'll talk about this game, uh, all, all the details and stuff like that in this video. But if you do go on to enjoy this video, please do smash like and subscribe. I would massively appreciate that. But without further ado, let's get into the preview. Alright, so we'll start off by going over the away side, Oxford's recent results. So, they did draw 0-0 at home to Wickham, which isn't a bad result. However, you look at their stats, and they had far more possession, uh, two more shots, uh, two more shots on target as well. I haven't watched any highlights, but judging off of those, you know that they probably deserve to win just based on the stats. You can kind of tell when everything's going in your favour that you probably got unlucky, but obviously I don't know what the chances were like. Um... Yeah, but that just proves that, yes, they haven't maybe had the best results of late, but they are a dangerous side. We lost 3-1 at home to Wickham when we played them. So, yeah, it, it doesn't fill me with confidence. But then, you know, you do go and look at the rest of their recent results. And, I mean, it, it, it's far from flawless. I mean, they've only had one win in their last five coming up against Lincoln uh, at home as a 3-1 win versus them. The results before that, we're a 2-1 two, uh, two loss away at Bolton. Uh, a 2-0 loss away at QPR in the Carabao Cup second round. Uh, and then after that, uh, Papa John's Trophy, Cambridge won 4-1. But that's not really much, too much to go by. And then they did lose 3-1 away to Wimbledon. And to be fair, again, Wimbledon have started the season well. So with Oxford, you know, you can't really look too much into it in terms of stats-wise. They are a good side. They're an experienced League One side. I think they, you know, they definitely have the capability to go up um, in the next couple of seasons. But they do sit tenth in the league. They only sit four places above us, um, only two points ahead of us as well on the same amount of games played. So it, it, it's not a definite this result. Um, they'll definitely be the favourites, the bookies' favourites going into this one. But yeah, it, it's, it's it's definitely going to be an interesting game. But yeah, let's go into. Uh, obviously, my team, Cheltenham stats and previous results heading into this game. So, obviously, we do come off the back of a 2-1 win uh, at uh, Charlton, obviously, away from home. Fantastic result for us. We dominated the first half. Definitely not the second, but it could have been a lot more than two goals for us. Um, obviously, before that, we did draw 1-0 with MK Dons at home. Yet again, another frustrating game. We sat back far too much, and at the end of the day... They probably deserve more than a win, but we got lucky. We shouldn't have sat back. Simple as, lesson learned. We took the point. Uh, and then, obviously, before that, Pap John's Trophy again, we lost two and I was at Bristol Rovers. Again, we played like four, four or five academy players in that, uh, or, or well, players that you know never really get played. Um, so that's fair enough. And then, before that, it was uh, two 1-1 one, one draws in a row uh, coming up against Gillingham in the Carabao Cup, obviously, where that did end up with us winning on penalties and of course Burton Albion away with Callum Wright scoring the goal there on Sky Sports and then the the last game before that uh, was at Fleetwood away and we did lose three goals to two in a very 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 cagey affair and again we shouldn't have lost but again you know it, we need to get used to League One um, but yeah I mean we sit like I said we sit 14 so you know I'm not worrying it too much at all going into this game if anything I'm actually quite confident um, but yeah, we'll get into my predicted lineups now. So, for goalkeeper for Cheltenham, I will go for again, it's a tough one because you look at how we played against Charlton, Flinders did not look good. Flinders made one or two decent saves, very, very dodgy distribution. And the, the, the thing, the thing is, with that is Owen Evans is far, far better at distribution than Scott Flinders. He has got some of the best distribution in the league, uh, does Owen Evans. So, I'm going to go, I'm going to say start Owen Evans. I, I really do think that we're better off starting Owen Evans and I stand by that and I think Scott Flinders is a great goalkeeper 
But I just think, I, th I think with a bit with a bit more game time, Owen Evans will get an experience, and he he won't be making the mistakes that Scott Flinders uh, did against Charlton. With a bit more game time under his belt, he'll be the first choice keeper, I think, by the end of the season. Uh, wing backs, obviously, I'll just go for Massey Baron, Chris Hussey. That is a guarantee. The three centre backs, I think, obviously, yet again, I don't really know what the injury situation is. I believe it ended up just being cramped for Matty Pollock. Nothing hamstring related. I think he tweeted uh, about that. Um, so I'll go for Matty Pollock, Will Boyle. And uh, again, it's difficult because. Sean Long, I've already done about Sean Long because realistically, Freeston's in with a shout as well. I think I'm going to say Freeston. I don't know why. I just think we'll start Freeston for this one. I think he's worked well with Matty Pollock so far uh, in the in the time he has had with him uh, in training and stuff like that. So I think there's a bit of a, a bit of a defensive partnership there that you know could grow throughout this season throughout Matty Pollock's loan spell. Um, so that's my three centre-backs. Midfield three. Now, again, this is pure guesswork at times because, you know, we do have a lot of midfield options. I'm going to go Callum Wright. I'm going to go Taylor Perry because I just think Taylor Perry was absolutely brilliant against Charlton. And I've been saying this, for, I've been saying this since he joined. Taylor Perry is a fantastic player. I've known this for a while, for a long time. I knew I knew about him when he was uh, playing for uh, Wolves' academy. When, when as soon as he signed, I tweeted, "This lad is a baller." By the way, what did what did he turn out to be? An absolute baller. A goal and an assist against Charlton. He has got to get the start. So Callum Wright, Taylor Perry, like I said, and the thing is, is that I would normally just quite simply say Connor Thomas. Because Connor Thomas is usually one of our most calm players. He's been a bit shaky of late. He has been a bit shaky. So for that exact reason, I'm going to say Liam Sirkin. Because I just I just think that he could work really well with Taylor Perry. They both suit each other, I think. And yeah, I, 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 do, I do think that Liam Sirkin is going to start this one against Oxford. And then the attacking two, I think, realistically, you've got to start Carl Joseph. Obviously, the only reason he didn't start against Charlton was because he was slightly ill. Uh, but he came, off, uh, he came on off the bench anyway. And then the player that I'm going to play alongside him. Because the thing is, it's, it's difficult again because Alfie May should have scored against Charlton. He had chances. He didn't take them. And that really worries me because that's been a reoccurring thing for a few games now. And yes, he, I, th I believe he is still our joint top scorer this season. Uh, with three, I think, across all competitions. I might be wrong, though. Um, but he should have scored more. To be honest, he should have scored more. But I'm still going to say Alfie May. I'm still going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to stick with him. I'm going to say Alfie May and Carl Joseph as the attacking two. But yeah, feel free to comment down below if you did disagree with any of those players in that starting eleven. I always do like to debate with you guys and see your guys' opinions as well, trying to make the channel a bit more interactive. But yeah. That's what the comments are for. Um, right, score prediction time. Again, like I said earlier on, difficult one. Both sides, one win in the last five. Um, obviously, we actually have the better form on paper because we have more points in total than them in our last five. I believe, anyway. Um, but it, it's, it's very, very difficult to predict. Both teams are very close in the league. We're at home. Hopefully, we can create a decent atmosphere better than MK Dons, hopefully, because I'll be honest, that atmosphere was not very good. Um, I think all Charlton fans can say that for that day. Um, I'm going to go for a 2-1 to Cheltenham. I'm going to go 2-1 Cheltenham. And I think it could quite easily go the other way. But I really do think that we stand a chance against Oxford. And I think if we can win this game... It, it'll be interesting to see how we do against Wigan uh, the week after because Wigan are high-flying. We go there with nothing to lose. If we win against Oxford, we'll go there with bags of confidence. We've got nothing to lose. We'll have no pressure on us. Yes, it's a big ground. We, we, yeah, we, we, we fitted in perfectly at Charlton's ground. So I don't think our players are phased by this League One stage. I really don't. And I do, I do think we will stay up this season. It's looking more and more, game by game, more and more likely... Uh, that this squad is perfectly capable of staying in League One 
I'm not going to say any further than that. I think we might be able to finish mid-table, but I'm not going to be bold and say playoffs or anything like that. I think we might finish just below mid-table. Uh, that is my prediction for the end of the season. But feel free to comment your score predictions down below. That is it for today's match preview. Thank you all very much for watching. Apologies if it wasn't the best quality match preview. I haven't done one in a while, uh, but I hope you did enjoy. If you made it this far and you're not subscribed, please do feel free to subscribe. We are on the road to 700 subscribers. Honestly, the support is second to none. It is absolutely unreal. And thank you for all the messages, all the support on all my socials. Also, a big shout out to my Twitch channel. I'll leave a link down to that down in the description. Honestly, the support I've received over on there over the past couple of weeks while I haven't been uploading on YouTube is absolutely outrageous. Honestly, it's been absolutely beyond belief the support i've been getting over on there and one final thing before i do end off this video i know i've said a lot um i've started up a second youtube channel some of you may or may not know that i'll also leave a link down to that in the description it is purely for fifa 20 uh fifa 22 content shall i say i've wanted to do this for a long time and now that i've properly got my twitch up and going i think it's worth giving it a go i'm not saying this channel is going to be a permanent um you know a permanent thing where i'm uploading regular videos you know forever now for the next couple of you know for the next year for the next two years i'm just trialing to start off with do feel free to subscribe to that the link is down in the description but yeah enough of the waffle thank you very much for watching lads have a class rest of the day feel free to come and say hello to me if you do see me tomorrow um yeah it, it's mental seeing you lot that you know watch the youtube at the ground it does feel very strange for me uh but yeah i do massively appreciate all the support but thank you very much for watching have a class rest of the day lads and i will see you in the next one